Life on the road is something I was raised to embrace. My ma always encouraged us to open our eyes and hearts to the world, make up our own minds through experience and be inspired. I see life in angles, in lines of perspective, a slight turn of the head, the blink of an eye, subtle glimpses of magic other folk might pass by. Cameras help me translate, interpret and understand what I see. It's a simple act that keeps me grinning. I never set out to become anything in particular, only to live creatively and push the scope of my experience through adventure and through passion. That's still all that means something to me, same as most anyone with dreams. My heart bleeds Celtic blood and I'm magnetised to familiar frontiers. Raw, brutal, cold coastlines for the right wave riders to challenge. This is where my heart beats hardest. I try to pay tribute to that magic through photographs. Weathering the endless storms for rare glimpses of magic each winter is both a blessing and a curse I relish. I want to see wave riding documented the way I see it in my head and the way I feel it in the sea. It's a strange set of skills to begin to acquire. It's only achievable through time spent riding waves. All sorts of waves on all sorts of crafts. It's more time learning out in the water. Floating in the sea amongst lumps of swell, you'll always learn something. So you've been a lifelong wise old classroom teacher of sorts, and hopefully always will be. Buried beneath headlands, shaping the coast. Mind-blowing images of empty waves burn away at me. Solid ocean swells powering through deep, cold water. Heavy waves, waves with weight. Coax from comfortable routine, ignite the imagination, convey some divine spark, whisper possibilities, conjure the situations I thrive amongst and love to document. We all take knocks in the process. Broken backs, drownings, near drownings, hypothermia, dislocations, fractures, frostbite, head wounds, stitches, concussions, broke my arm and that's just the last couple of years. Still look forward to getting amongst it each winter though. Cold creeping into your core, driving you mad, day after day. Mumbling to yourself while you hold position and wait for the next set to come. The dark side of the lens. An art form unto itself and us, silent workhorses of the surfing world. There's no sugary cliché. Most folk don't even know who we are, what we do, or how we do it, let alone want to pay us for it. They never want to take this for granted, so I try and keep motivation simple, real, and positive. If I only scrape a living, at least it's a living worth scraping. If there's no future in it, at least the present worth remembering. For fires of happiness and waves of gratitude. For everything that brought us to that point on earth at that moment in time. To do something worth remembering with a photograph or a scar. I feel genuinely lucky to hand on heart say I love doing what I do. And though I may never be a rich man, if I live long enough, I certainly have a tale or two for the nephews. And I dig the thought of that.